Okay, we're just going to do a small bit of work on this next topic here, which is forming quadratic equations from their roots. So let's go back and look at a quadratic equation and remind ourselves how we find the roots. So if we had a quadratic like x squared plus 5x plus 6 equal to 0, we could factorize it and we'd have We'd look for what adds to give us 5 and multiplies to give us 6. So we would have x plus 2 and x plus 3 equal to 0. And then you remember we change the sign, change the sign in order to find the roots. So we get x is equal to minus 2 and x is equal to minus 3. So then working backwards from that, of course we can put the roots into factors, multiply out the factors, but we can actually do a bit of a shortcut. If I were to add those two together, a minus 2 minus 3 gives me minus 5. So that has given me the number that's up here. That's given me that number in the middle there, but the sign is wrong as well. And that's where we get this part of the formula. The sum of the roots, add the roots together, and change the sign. Add the roots together and change the sign. You multiply that by x. That gives you the middle number. Then if I multiply those two numbers together, a minus 2 multiplied by a minus 3 gives me minus by minus plus a plus 6. And we'll notice that this is correct. I didn't need to change the sign because when you multiply two negatives together, you end up with a positive. So you don't change the sign here and you just multiply the two numbers. Okay, so let's use that shortcut now here to find a quadratic with roots minus two and seven. So x is equal to minus two and x is equal to seven. And if we do the sum of the roots, minus 2 plus 7 gives us a plus 5 and change the sign minus the sum of the roots is minus 5. So that's going to be my middle term and the product of the roots a minus 2 multiplied by a plus 7 gives me minus 14. So therefore my quadratic should be x squared minus 5x minus 14. And they asked for an equation equal to zero. So that should be my quadratic equation. You can verify that by going the other way. If we factorize this, we'd get x minus seven, x plus two. And then we'd solve that by changing the signs. x is equal to seven, x is equal to minus two, which is exactly what they gave us for the roots there. So you don't need to do this bit in purple writing, that's just verifying it. Okay, so that's straightforward enough, but what about when we had a quadratic with roots like this? Minus five and a third. Well, it should still work, but at the end, at the end, you'll get rid of the fractions. At the end, get rid of fractions. How do we do that? Well, we've been doing it for quite a while now. We multiply across by a common denominator. So again, I'm going to do, now I'm going to go and do my minus in the, in the one step here. So this is going to be minus, minus five plus a third. And let your calculator do the work there. And you can do it in your head if you want. You can change minus five to minus 15 over three. So it's minus 16, or minus 14 over 3 should be the answer. But, you know, it's easy to make a mistake when you're working out fractions the long way. So minus a minus 5 plus a third. Just do it into the calculator like that. And we get 14 over 3. So 14 over 3. That would be my middle term. And the product you'll have a minus five multiplied by a third, and that is just minus five over three, 
Again, you can use the calculator to do that. Minus 5 multiplied by a third multiplied by 1 over 3 and we get minus 5 over 3. So therefore my quadratic equation will be x squared, this is plus, plus 14 over 3 times x and this is minus, minus 5 over 3. Now we must get rid of the fraction, common denominator would be 3 so I'll multiply here by 3, here by 3, and here by 3, and nothing divides in here. 3 into 3 goes there, and it cancels. 3 into 3 goes there. I apologise. Because it was a quadratic equation, it's equal to 0, which is why I'm able to do this multiplying across. So that means what we get is 3x squared plus 14x minus... 5 equal to 0 and that is our quadratic equation so we're asked for an equation that's why I have the equal to 0 it's just a quadratic trinomial without the equal to 0 at the end okay so I am going to ask you to try some of these yourselves for homework I'll put this up in Google Classroom as well so for homework I want you to form quadratic quadratic equations with the following pairs of roots. So for the first one, it's going to be minus 2 and minus 1 and for the second one it's going to be uh, 2 thirds and minus 5. So it should be nearly identical to what we just did in those examples there and I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, no I saw you this morning sorry and just let me know if you have any problems with that. So we're not going to do any more on this than just this step here. Okay, thank you.